Well, hello, my friends, it's Sean Petit, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Look at this beauty we're creating today. Here are the supplies that I'll be using. I love my Liquitex spray paints. All right, so I am starting on a 12 by 12 MDF board that has been gessoed, and I'm using three different types of Liquitex paints. Black, quinacridone magenta, and yellow gold. What a great combination. Oh, I love it. And I'm just using, this is the old type tech stencil, and I am <clears throat> just playing. So this piece has a very long story <laughs> to it, and I'm going to share all of that with you um, at the end of the video. But this was not the original piece that I had planned to do. Um, I, had, I, had a, I had finished an entirely different piece, and it wasn't the right one. <clears throat> I knew it. I knew it didn't have the right. It just wasn't right. So I did this one and it came together very quickly compared to the one that I had already done. Um, so anyway, I hope you stick around for that conversation because it, I explain it explains a whole lot. So I'm just playing with my stencils. This is the Doodle Squares stencil. I had the big bold numbers stencil. Um, just loving the Liquitec paints. The colors, how they spray, um, <clears throat> being able to control them really well, I positively love them. So of course I ordered all the colors because <laughs> <clears throat> that's what I do. And I'm just really kind of getting a really grungy background because that was how I was feeling. Oh, so much to tell you about this piece. <clears throat> So there's not a whole lot of difficulty, not a lot of strategy, not a lot of anything um, difficult to this piece. And um, I used gesso and two other colors of paint by DecoArt, the cobblestone and the, um, uh, I'll have, all the supplies will be listed. I'm using a water-soluble acrylic Sharpie pen to write out all my feelings about this piece, about just all kinds of stuff. And again, I'll share all of that at the end of the video. Um, but very simple supplies, not a lot, um, but the result is striking and it was exactly what I wanted. And all the lessons that I learned from the first piece, I took with me to this piece. This is the boulder stencil and now I'm just using gesso and I will mix gesso and the cobblestone and kind of a off-white, no, oh, it was called sand gray or stone gray um, colors for the rest of the piece, and that's it. Um, I didn't add a whole bunch else. I used a couple of soft pastels, and that was it. It's just me kind of processing through everything, and um, I just love that crunchy background. Oh, just love it. I'm working hard to kind of isolate the area and bring it together, but yet not um, hide all of that grungy goodness that's underneath and um, keep that, that part of that grungy story that's part of my story for this piece um, really visible. These, that, these uh, pieces that I'm laying down are um, like that white piece is a piece of tissue paper that came from Bath and Body Works. <laughs> and then the other two pieces are napkins. And so they're very transparent, which is what I wanted. I wanted that little bit of texture and interest and that, that dot pattern is one of my favorites. Um, but it goes transparent so you can see the layers underneath. And I love using tissue paper and napkins this way so that all of those layers can show through underneath.
So I'm using the big, um, the bold numbers stencil to, to kind of pull those areas together and kind of unify them and make them feel like they're all part of the same piece. Now I'm just going to use my pressed paper technique um, to again kind of push everything together and unify the areas and still kind of keep it muted but add a tiny bit of texture. Um, this is Liquitex acrylic um, ink in raw. It's a transparent raw umber. It is gorgeous. Oh, the grungy goodness. So now that the ink is dry, I'm just using a palette knife and some gesso and just adding another layer of depth and interest, kind of that grungy, scratchy feel to kind of blend in the acrylic ink um, areas. This is acrylic ink in um, carbon black. This, these are both Liquitex uh, acrylic inks.
So I have printed out some words, all the words that were rolling around inside of me. Um, and I printed some out on tissue paper and then I'm just going to stamp and stencil out a few more words. Um, I just wanted a variety. I wanted them in different sizes. I wanted them all to be different because they all represent something different. So all the supplies will be listed on the blog and the link to the blog is down below in the YouTube description box. Lots of stuff on the blog today, um, but I share a, a lot about everything at the end of the video. The story of this is really, really good um, and how helpful our creative process is to our well-being. And um, so I talk about that at the end of the video. I'm going to put my um, words down with my Liquitex Fluid Matte Medium. I'm going to shade just a little bit, use a little bit of soft pastel. My friends, that's really it. It was um, not a difficult, it, it was a long journey, but this piece in and of itself was not um, a lot of work. Getting to this spot was, and again, I'll share all about that. All right, my friends. Um, have a wonderful week and I will see you next week. Well, hello loves and happy Sunday to you. This feels so good. Oh, so good. Um, it was a long road to this piece. Um, yeah, I did a completely separate piece, a totally different one than this. Um, I spent all day creating it and um, I knew right away as soon as I was done it wasn't the one. I had a lot of things that I wanted to say in it um, and it just and I'm just going to show you real quick. So this is the first piece I, I created and it just it almost looks cartoonish um, but she had a lot to say like she's got her mama arms on she's got things to say. Background was great the, the, the girl was great, but the two together was not good. Um, it, they're just, there were a lot of things. So, um, I am going to go ahead and process this video. And I will have this video in the resource library for you to watch. Um, I probably won't do voiceover or anything, um, but you can see the process of how I created this. I will have her sketch in the resource library as well, um, so you can um, maybe do something with it better than I did. Um, I, there were so many things that I loved about this, and I loved her, and I loved her attitude. Oh, yeah. Um, but, it, yeah, this felt better. This felt like the mess inside of me. Um, this felt more genuine, and that's really what it's always all about, is um, 
paint for me anyway painting out the emotion the feeling the things all this all the stuff so um, before I get into this um, further I just want to quickly go over that the stencils that I use today will be on sale um, and then of course the video and the girl will be in the resource library for you for the other the other misfit piece that I did um, and then a couple things coming up I just want to let you know that Wanderlust 2021 will be going on sale uh, today I think it starts today the day that you see this Sunday um, and I will be a teacher um, for Wanderlust 2021 and so um, I will have links and everything um, in the blog post and in my weekly email um, if you want to go ahead and sign up for that um, oh, some great artist Wanderlust is always a great um, place to learn and grow and get a wide variety of different um, types, techniques, styles within the confines of art journaling. So Wanderlust is awesome. And then also coming up um, Friday after you see this video, next Friday, um, new stencils will be launched um, for the fall release. Um, some some kind of fallish, but not very many. I really have been influenced by my studies um, on culture and African American art, and um, around, I'm taking a tour around the world as I had, you know, I've done some rock and tiles, I've done Paris, I've done. So now we're moving on, doing some Spanish tiles and different things like that. So really fun new stencils coming out on Friday. And then after that, next week um, will be the new workshop called Shelter. And let me see if I can give you a little sneaky peek. Uh, let's see. Okay, I'm not going to do the whole thing, but this is just a sample of some of what we'll be doing for Shelter. So, um love this workshop it's super simple it's going to be super cheap um, um three easy projects um but really fun S some fun different ways to create and shelter right now means so many things to all of us as we shelter in place and as we have to kind of redo our thinking about um how we socialize and things like that shelter has a lot of um a lot of story for us right now so this workshop is extremely meaningful I think anyway so that'll be coming out so lots and lots of fun good new things happening okay so for this piece <laughs> uh, I had so many things going on inside of me there's lots of deadlines that are happening lots of things coming off of birthday week all these different things and then just everything else <laughs> I mean Gosh, 2020 just doesn't seem to, I keep thinking it's going to work its way out of being just kind of a mess, but it, I just don't think it's going to. And um, I was just sharing with the gals in the office that my anxiety level this week has just been super high. And part of that for me is I'm a five on the Enneagram, and for fives, we like to have the answers. We like to, if we don't know the answers, we will research till we're like crazy and find the answers and plan, 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 and all those kinds of things. And nothing about 2020 has answers. Nothing makes sense. Nothing, nothing goes according to plan. Um, my sons who own a, a restaurant, um, their word for the year is pivot <laughs> and adjust. And um, every time they think they've got something figured out, they have to readjust and they're just exhausted. Every business, small business owner is exhausted by having to adjust to new norms and new things. And so there's just so many things. We've had some personal stuff. We had some things stolen um, this week from, it's just, I'm telling you, I don't know. It's just part of one of the weeks of 2020. I have no idea, but anyway. So as I was creating the other piece, um, I knew what I, I had so many things to say, and um, 
I knew I wanted that kind of female strong power kind of thing um, but I really wanted that grungy messy background because um, that's how I was feeling all the mess and so when I put those two together I knew I knew that it wasn't going to work and so that piece took me hours to create and this piece took me minutes to create really honestly um, as soon as I finished the other piece it was like seven o'clock at night I went upstairs I gave myself a break and just like thought about everything and knew that I had to redo it I knew it and um, came back downstairs after about an hour and put this together and it just came it just uh, all of it was good um, I wrote out so in the other piece I I used a lot of words in her skirt in her skirt there were lots of meaning in here and I put that meaning back here and then I just wrote it out I wrote the stuff out that I was feeling with my sharpie in the background and um, oh, it just felt so good you guys art is so good for our souls when we don't have the answers when we can't find the things when we don't know what it what we need to say or what what it is even that's going on it's so good and so I just I, it was just grungy messy and that's exactly what I wanted because that's exactly how I was feeling grungy messy anxiety all the things all the things in here um, and then I began to kind of pull from because I had lots of words on here that were I was almost angry when I was creating this one and once I got through that one and I got to this one um, I, I had kind of you know processed some of the things and um, I pulled out what was important and um, be different trust rest and each one of these words has like several meanings like be different be different right now be different with people be different um, with grace. There's so many things that go along with each trust. Trust that, trust the process, trust knowing myself to know that that piece was not the right one. Trust um, God, trust um, my, my um, staff, trust my husband. Tr all these, there's so many things. Rest, rest in Him, rest, <laughs> physical rest make sure I rest take care of myself create creating every day is so part of me and um, the peace that I can claim um, create um, beautiful moments create um, peace create there's so many things that go with each word lift up Lift my eyes up to the Lord. Lift up others. Lift up those who can't lift themselves. Lift each other up. Um, release. Let what I can't control, oh, it's so hard for me. What I can't control, I have to let go of. I have to. I don't know how. I work on it every day. Um, but I, it, it is a constant struggle for me. And then journey. Journey through this life right now with some grace, with a lot of grace. People are struggling. Everyone has, it's, it's, it's tense and heavy sometimes. Not always, but there's always this thing. You can see it on people's faces when you go out, well, on their eyes. Um, it's just a different time right now. Um, journey together we are better together when we share our stuff when we share our story when we share our anxiety we're better together um, enjoy the journey share the journey make the best of the journey I mean that's all we can do right um, be thankful for the journey um, all of those things um, were part of what I wrote in the background and then some there might have been a few cuss words in there too. <laughs> uh, it's just what I needed. It was just what I needed. And then kind of the gra that graffiti with the spray paint. Oh, I love it because it just, it's so, 
I don't know. For me, it feels powerful. And then the reds were passion. I was, that's what I was feeling. Passionate about just, ah, oh, everything. Um, yeah. So, that's the place that I went to as I was creating. And I, I say, I, I share all this because somewhere we need to have that kind of release from all the things that are going on. Um, so, sometimes it's not hard. Sometimes the weeks are great and easy, and sometimes they're not. They're just not. And we're so tired of um, pivoting and trying to make do or trying to uh, listen to politics or what. Uh, there's just so many things um, that we we need to find a release. And for me, that's creating. It could be something totally different for you. Exercise, number one way to release stress and anxiety. Um, and then creating for me. Um, but it could be walks. It could be watching the sunset. It could be being with your kids. It could be so many things. But find your place that you can let go. You can release whatever. You can process through. You can think it out. You can find your place of gratitude. Wherever that is, whether it's creating or all the other things, find that place because it's so important right now as we deal with all the things. And um, I pray that your journey, um, like this one, um, there are lessons in this in the journey, and and while I, I I don't like this piece, what I learned in here went right here. What I did back here, I loved this. I loved the colors. So there's lessons in the mistakes, in the journey, in the struggle, in all of the things. So many lessons that bring us to where we where we grow where we create beautiful things, where we learn those lessons in the ugly journey, <laughs> produce something wonderful. And we need to be thankful for that. Even, I, it was frustrating. Less, it was very frustrating. But then, when I got here, I knew what I wanted. I'd already done it over there. I just had to do it a little differently. And that, right now, my friends, is the name of the game for 2020. Okay, loveys, that is it um, for today. And I hope that you um, check out Wanderlust and all the other stuff. And um, most importantly, I hope that you get some peace and rest and you create and you find that place that you can just let go and unload and be. And um, I hope your Sunday is restful. And I hope that you always, always know that you are loved.